Well guys, I am at a loss for words right now, but the title says it all. We literally just bought a private jet. A true team effort with our friends Owen and Ricky Gutierrez. We pulled the deal together. I can't believe this is happening and it's right behind this door. Are you guys ready to see it for the first time? Introducing to the channel our new Cessna Citation. Oh my goodness, it's starting up. Wow, guys, listen to that. The first time hearing it run. There goes the plane off on a taxi test. They just replaced the brakes and a tire and did a little bit of fuel work. So they were checking for leaks. Now they're gonna test the brakes before they send us on our way. All right, it's go time guys. The wire just hit. We got the green light to take the plane. They're pulling it out. Oh my goodness. This is surreal. This is happening guys. Ricky's freaking out. Remember, Ricky has never, he's never even been in a jet. So for him to now ride in a private jet for the first time, one that he's an owner of, is like probably very surreal for him. Here we go, we got all the logs. Owen and James about to be sitting up front. Check it out. We're gonna load the front baggage area first for CG. All right guys, let's board up and hit the skies. James, you ready? I'm ready. Oh my gosh, Ricky, you ready? Let's go home, baby. First time private jet traveler. What are you expecting? A safe trip. A sa <laughs> oh shoot, uh, I'm certainly yeah. expecting that too. I heard they're quicker, they take off quicker, but that you can also feel more turbulence. That's what I'm like, whoa. Well, should be pretty smooth, guys. Actually, then again, we have like a thunderstorm <laughs> ahead yeah, of us. Yeah. Maybe don't mention that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> there's no terrible weather in our path. Yeah, Owen, oh, you're used to big Gulfstream G4s. This, this is nothing. This is like a little Tonka toy compared to that. Yeah, Come on. No, I'm looking forward to getting back in Citation. So Heck yeah. This will be great. James here, freshly type, so. Yeah, yeah so you, you've flown these quite a bit. I mean, this is what you fly for work, so this is yep. same old, same old. Yeah. You said it flies like a big, fast 172. Just a 172 with fans on it. <laughs> 172 with fans. Okay, let's board up and hit the skies. Here we go. Oh man, take a look. I'm gonna sit here so I can give you guys a good view of the cockpit. The only thing that it like, if we wanted to change something, probably like the carpet to update it. Yeah, sure. These are so easy to change out. Ron Mata, Aviation Creations. He could definitely take this to the next level. But you're right, it's in really good shape. So there's nothing like immediate that needs to be changed. And I kind of like the tan. It's like a. It's kind of like our Ferrari FF, like a darker saying, tan. Yeah. Really nice, and it goes well with the burgundy uh, metallic red exterior. Christian, ready? I think it shows really well. Yeah, it's super good shape. We'll explain everything with this deal, the plane. This is gonna be a long video, so I'm telling you right now, grab your popcorn, grab your drinks, enjoy the whole thing. Don't skip around. This video is gonna be action-packed as we fly this plane home. Literally just bought it one hour ago, sent the wire. He just got the money. We got the green light to take it, and we're flying it. 1500 miles or so, maybe 1800 miles. I don't know, cross country all the way home. This is going to be epic. Okay. Slide it, you got two greens, two greens. Hey, this is uh, Citation 5-2 Tango Lima. We're over on the ground in uh, Statesville Regional looking to pick up our IFR. Okay, so while they're prepping up here, while it's quiet, we can talk about uh, the specs on this plane. Of course, it's 6200 hour total time. That is extremely low. For a for jet of this vintage. Yeah, you normally see these with over 10,000 hours? Oh gosh, yeah, I've seen plenty of citations with 8, 9, 10, 11, 12,000 hours. So this one at 6,200 is very low time. Nice. That's why everything's in really good condition. All the headliner. It's actually got like an Alcantara suede headliner. So that's, that's kind of cool. It reminds us of Ferrari and the Lamborghini. That's not bad. Uh, it's got all these new uh, windows. Five of the six back or five of the seven back here were replaced. 
got a new front windshield, new boots, so much maintenance, new Those brakes. Those are big deals. Yeah, the boots, very expensive. I mean, when you're talking jets, add a zero to everything in the plane world, in piston plane world, that's about what you're looking at for a jet. So tons of recent maintenance. Previous owner Conrad was super meticulous. He took great care of this plane and he was ready for the next thing. So he moved on. The deal presented itself. So we had to jump on it and it's looking good so far. But then again, we haven't even taken off yet. So maybe I should not say anything. So the one big challenge we're gonna have going back are these huge headwinds that we're gonna be facing. As much as Owen, headwinds? 100 knots, right on the nose. So you're telling me if you're in a 152, you're going backwards? Basically. There's 12. through that before uh, takeoff checklist if you don't mind. Roger. Anti-STIs. Uh, it's not required right now. Flight controls. Checked. Flaps and trim. Set and set. Anti-skid. We don't have. Okay. Takeoff data. We got that. Set. Crew briefing. All right, let's see takeoff. Uh, anything below 80 will abort. Anything above 80 to V1, loss of engine fire failure, loss of directional control. And anything else, we'll uh, take in the air, come back here, I fly, you fix. All right, and then lineup checks to go. Yep, you can call lineup and wait and uh, go with those. And Statesville Regional Traffic, Citation 52 Tango Lima, lineup uh, on my 10, Statesville Traffic. Yep. Lineup checks, ignitions, pedostatic. On, check. Exterior lights. All on. Transponder. And it's squawking. Nux here to panel. Clear. Throttles, engine instruments. Here we go. Statesville Regional Traffic, Citation 52 Tango Lima, departing runway 10, northbound departure. Our speed's alive. 80 knots. V1. Rotate. She's ready to fly. Positive rate. Gear. V2 plus 10. Flaps up. Dang, this thing was up quick, and this is with nearly full fuel and five people. Citation 52 Tango Lima, 3200, climbing 4000, direct. November 52 Tango Lima, good afternoon, radar contact, about two and a half miles to the east, northeast of the Statesville Airport, climb and maintain. One zero thousand, the uh, Hickory Altimeter 3032. 3032 up to one zero ten thousand, uh, two Tango Lima. 10,000 set. Departure citation 52 Tango Lima, 6600, climbing 10,000. Welcome for 52 Tango Lima, Atlanta Center, Roger, climb and maintain 14,000, the Hickory Altimeter 3032, more than an hour old. All right, up to 14,000, 2 Tango Lima. And we're on top, just like that. What do you normally climb at, 200? Uh, usually like way like, like 180 or something. Okay, well I'm gonna get going up there then. This thing's pretty quick. This climb rate we're getting is pretty yep. good. Yeah. For maintain uh, flight level 230, 5-2 Tango Lima. 23 set. Verified. Dude, we're flying our own jet. <laughs> flying straight. Yeah, it's flying real straight. Bravo. Temperature is uh, minus 40. Minus 40, 25 and above, 102.01 N1. Bump it up. This thing's pretty quick. All right, we're up here at 36,000 feet. She's performing perfectly. I still gotta pinch myself. We're flying our own jet home. Right. We're doing 270 over the ground, not awful. We got about 70 knots on the nose right now. Uh, we got about an hour to go to our first fuel stop, and uh, we're gonna land, top off, and reassess the weather. There's a system coming over Central Texas right now, so we'll have to see how we're gonna navigate through or around that. All right, we'll plan when we're getting fuel. We're stopping at a really cheap uh, spot, 457 a gallon, right? Small little airport just uh, to the northeast of Memphis. Um, yeah, 457, can't beat that. And we're clear direct, so can't beat that either. No, we're at 36,000 feet. Five of us in here. I mean, nearly full fuel and five people in some bags. We climbed pretty well, so. 
super smooth skies right now, and this is epic. Yeah, I have to pinch myself too. This is crazy. Well, the pilots are doing their job, and we're doing our job of finding peak cabin comfort. Guys, this is amazing. We just figured out how to recline the seats in the back. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Citation 52 Tango Lima, 17-6, descending 1-6 uh, out. Now 52 Tango Lima, Nashville Coast, Nashville, 2 0 What's VREF? VREF, 95, 3,000 feet. Now 52 Tango Lima, descending 19, 1, 2, 12,000. We're down to 1, 2,000, 2 Tango Lima. Got to piss so bad. <laughs> Humphreys County Station 2 Tango Lima, 7 mile final, 2-1 Humphreys. I'll take uh, gear. All right, below 1, 76, you down. Center Station 52 Tango Lima. Tango Lima, go ahead. Yes, sir. Cancel IFR at this time. Repot Tango Lima. I have cancel your sea squawk IFR. Have a good day. Hey, thanks, you too. All right, squawk and PFR. Uh, you're back over to the CTAF. Thank you, and I'll take full flaps. All right. Humphreys Traffic Station 2 Tango Lima on final 2 1, Humphreys. Landing gear, landing lights, ignitions, flaps. 500. Yaw damper. Thanks for your panel considered. Thank you. And be ready to get the speed brakes for me if you don't mind. Roger that. Right, plus 15. Start grabbing it. Get him. Speed brakes. Extended. Focus to pull it. Dude, there is nobody here. <laughs> Thrust reversers stowed. Up to trim, set for takeoff. Speed brakes retracted. Ignition's norm. Set. Pita static heat. Off. Anti SD ice. Not needed. Exterior lights. Set. So I'll leave the antis on. Anti skid. Don't, Don't have it. Transponder radar VFR. After landing. Checks complete. Hell yeah, dude. Let's go. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> Heck what? Yeah. All right. Nice and done. Awesome. Tennessee with some cheap jet A. Let's load her up. I think we're grabbing 350 gallons. I can't believe I'm saying that. 350 gallons. The most we've ever had before was like the Bonanza and we put in like 80 and that was like, that was a big bill. 350? Oh, and you paying for this? Who's paying for this? You got a couple of me. Oh, shoot. Hey, and guess what? It's self serve too. So who's, who's going to fill it up? Uh, not it. All right. Bam. Woo. Look at it go. And yes, if you're wondering, if you know your citations, both of these engines do have the new OCHT blades. So those are, uh, Christian and I were, Chris and I were looking through the logs. We spent, logs. we have so much to catch you guys up on, but we spent two, three hours going through all the logs this morning and we came across some invoices. Those new redesigned HT blades are uh, $88,000 a set per side. Gosh, 88,000 bucks. At least that's what they were in 2008, like retail price. I'm not sure about now. Probably more with inflation, but to have both engines have those new blades, that's nice that we won't have to incur that expense. It was already done by the previous, previous owner. Check it out. Here are the reverse thrusters, which came in handy on that landing. Wow. There's mixed opinions about the thrust reversers. Some people say, oh, you don't need them because it just adds weight and moves the CG back. But on a shorter runway or contaminated runway, I think they are essential. I will happily pay the 200 pound weight penalty and a little bit of extra maintenance so that I don't have to replace my brakes as often. And a lot of cool factor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and they're yeah. super cool. Yeah, it's kind of like the Bonanza. Bonanza has one on each side. And Jet has one on each side. Easy. Yep, we can use some fuel. I know some planes have like four or five different access points to add fuel auxiliary tanks and all that this is just very simple one on each side keeps it very easy two 282 gallons each side oh my gosh i don't want to know what this credit card bill is going to be by the end of this trip it's the first time we've done jet a <laughs> it feels weird hitting that jet a button all righty filling her up fresh jet a that number's going up very quickly 34 35 that's a lot of money leaving my bank account 
But uh, yeah, shout out to what airport are we at? Humphreys County Airport in Tennessee. Humphreys County Airport in Tennessee. It's the only 10 I see. Let's go. ATC quiz November 5 2 Tango Lima from the Zero Mike 5 Airport to the Papa Whiskey Alpha Airport via S filed. Climb and maintain 4000. Expect flight level 38010 minutes after departure. Contact Memphis Center on 125.85, squawk 5673. Clarence Boyd is not off by 1920. It's not off by 1920. Advise Memphis flights out of attention. No later than 1925. Time now is 1906 and a half. All right, 52 Tango Lima, clear to the Papa Whiskey Alpha Airport via Asfild. Climb 4000, expect 38010 after departure. Departure 125.85, squawk 5673, void if not off by 1920. Stay back, correct. Have a great flight. Yep, thanks, have a good day. Bam. Let's go. Where we That's how it's done. Right. And for anybody wondering, the total fuel, 300. 374. 374, dear. God, okay. Gallons or dollars? I'm getting some credit card points on this one. <laughs> <laughs> Gallons or dollars. God, that sound's never gonna get old. Yeah. Airspeed's alive. Which instruments look good. 80 knots. V1. Rotate. Positive rate. Yeah. Plus 10. Flaps up. Citation 52 Tango Lima 1380 climbing 4000. If you're back here, who's flying the plane? Nah. <laughs> James up there Ricky. Now Owen gets a rare opportunity to relax in the back. What percentage of 500 series are single pilot? Yeah. yeah. I'd probably say what, like 50, 50? 50 percent yeah. are 500, 50 percent are 501s. Yeah, that sounds about right. It definitely adds a premium value being a 501 because single pilot planes will always be worth more. I'm glad we picked this one. These legacy citations, so much value for your money. We'll talk more about that when we get on the ground a little quieter, but. This is great. So what do you think? Pretty comfy? Oh, I love it, man. I love it back here. For being a small plane and us being tall guys, it works out great. Five people in this plane is like a magical sweet spot number. Because Owen and I can kick up our legs and then somebody can sit in the barrel seat and then two people up front. With an enclosed lavatory, I mean, this is a small plane, but it doesn't really feel like it. Yeah, let's not forget, of course, when you move our backpacks, there's a toilet there and this closes. So an enclosed lavatory on a small plane like this is pretty tough to be. Bring it in like a refuge. I got a long run like that. All the way back, hold it, get that right wheel down first. There we go. Nice. Taking the spoilers. Spoilers out. Buckets deployed. Wiley Post Ground, Citation 5-2, Tango Lima, clear 17 left, Alpha 3, taxi meta. Alright, number two. Bam! That landing was sweet. That was clean. Alright, where are we? Wiley Post, Oklahoma. That. Cheap fuel, even cheaper than last stop, $4.30 a gallon, which you know, right now it's extremely cheap. I don't know about two years ago or in two years or whatnot, but 4.30 a gallon, man, I'll take it. Fill the tanks. All right, next stop, Phoenix. Let's go, let's go, go. Center five two Tango Lima, contact forward center one two eight point four. Twenty four two Tango Lima, see Center station five two Tango Lima, seven point seven, climb at fifteen thousand. Get up high as quickly as you can so you can burn less fuel. 5-2 Tango Lima, clear direct destination. Direct destination, 2 Tango, uh, tango Lima, thank you. Straight shot to Phoenix, baby. That's yes, what sir. I'm talking about. Go keep the climb down with 2 Tango Lima. 2 Tango Lima, yes sir, climb at the infallible 380. Thank you, 380, 2 Tango Lima. Up we go, baby. All right, I come to you from the navigator's seat. Jump seat here. I'm doing the work. On 4 
work flight. Estimated time to destination. We can plug in the weather with our ADSB in that we have. Ground speed, all this info. Look at this, we've got our estimated time to our destination. We are cleared direct to Falcon Field. That's convenient. Should be no more weather on the way. Charlie, hold short runway, four left. 